Hello folks, welcome back to Gladys Chest. We are continuing our little crew training series uh, with me, Spiral Tarantula. First off, we're going to start with light tanks. As you can see in my garage, I have quite a few light tanks. Oh, whoops. I have, uh... Yeah, those are still light tanks, I'm sorry. I have about 16 light tanks. However, I don't really count these little gift tanks. They're kind of crappy. But they're rare, so I hold on to them. Anyway, that's not important. Uh, we're going to be focusing mainly on high-tier light tanks because high-tier light tanks are awesome. Uh, light tanks rely primarily on stealth and their view range. They have very flimsy armor, as you can see here on the Speypanzer RU-251. Yeah, you're not uh, you're not bouncing anything in that at all. Um, they're very mobile, and they're really, really valuable on your team. A lot of people do the uh, stereotypical suicide scout where they rush at the enemy base, and they get as many spots as they can, and then they are obliterated by everybody on the enemy team. And that's great. You got your 12 spots, and you died, and now nobody knows where any of those tanks are because all of your radio transmissions are gone because you died. So, good job. So don't do that. Don't suicide scout. Only losers suicide scout. Um, this, I would recommend on all of your light tanks that you plan on keeping... Uh, get some camouflage paint on there because you do get a 5% bonus to your base camo with camouflage paint. Um, if you don't plan on keeping a light tank, you can still do the same thing for silver. So if I decide to get, you know, the stripey white camo, I can use it for silver. But it's a tier 8 light tank, so uh, I kept it so I used uh, gold for all my camouflage on that. Um, so let's talk about the skills and the perks to put on your light tanks. Oops, wrong one. First off, we're going to start with the camouflage skill. I would recommend getting camouflage as your first skill on all of your light tanks. That's because the light tanks get a bonus. They don't lose their camouflage rating when they're moving. Um, and that's an exclusively a light tank privilege. Any other tank in the game, they lose a lot of their camouflage while they're moving. Um, however, the light tanks still lose their camouflage bonus when they're firing their gun. So keep that in mind. Uh, the second skill I would recommend is the perk, Sixth Sense. There is nothing more frustrating uh, than getting shot by somebody and not knowing where they are, or not knowing that you've been spotted. So Sixth Sense is really important on all of your tanks, because your commander will have an epiphany and know that he's been spotted. Um, and that's extremely crucial, especially in a light tank where they can get one shot uh, by pretty much everything on the enemy team. Uh, the third skill I would get uh, would be probably Situational Awareness, and I've kind of botched the uh, RU-251 a little bit, or Off-Road Driving. Now, the Off-Road Driving I would recommend on if you want to take more of an active role in scouting, because um, that uh, increases, lowers the ground resistances, and it gives you a lot more maneuverability if you're driving through the mud or the snow or the sand or whatever. Anything that's not a paved road, basically. Um, and Situation Awareness will give you 3% boost to your base view range, so on my RU-251, the base view range is 400. So you combine that with Coded Optics, which is the equipment I've fitted on there, so my view range is around, you know, 430, 440 meters. However, you can decide to, uh, not do that if you, like I said, if you want to take an active role, you can get off-road driving instead. Because most of the high-tier light tanks have really good view range anyway. Uh, so the fourth skill would be whichever skill you didn't take from the previous one. So if you took off-road driving on your third skill, take Situation Awareness and vice versa. Uh, your fifth skill that I would recommend would probably be Snapshot, which is down here. It is a gunner skill. Uh, and Snapshot is really good for light tanks when you decide, okay, this heavy tank is by himself or this medium tank is by himself. He's not paying attention. I'm going to run in there and I'm going to assassinate him. Or I'm going to run in there and I'm going to circle strafe this artillery and kill him. So Snapshot gives you a bonus to accuracy when you are traversing the turret. Um, your sixth skill that I would recommend is taking Brothers in Arms. Now, Brothers in Arms is a perk, as I've said in a previous video, so it does not get any benefit until it is at 100%. Now you might be saying, well, why did you wait so long to get Brothers in Arms? Well, that's because I tend to take skills early on and then take perks afterwards minus six cents of course because six cents is probably the, the best perk you can have in the game um so i always get at least one or two skills on my crew before i take brothers in arms but 
again, this is just what I do. You feel free to do whatever you want to do with your tanks. Um, this is just for people who are a little confused or want some uh, other opinions on how other tankers uh, train their crews. So, your seventh skill, uh, I would take repairs. Now, an interesting thing about repairs, I wouldn't recommend taking this on low tier light tanks, such as the uh, the one, the Panzer 1C, I wouldn't take repairs on that, or the Chaffee, because these low tier light tanks only have around three to 400 hit points. The 1C only has, I believe, like 230. So if you get hit hard enough, you'll get your tracks blown off. So use your repair kit on your tracks. That's, that's your life, basically. But with the high tier light tanks, the RU251 has 1200 hit points. So you can get hit and put your tracks on and you can get hit again and in some cases your tracks will eat the round and you can uh, get it repaired and get going again but again I would only recommend repairs on extremely high tier light tanks such as tier 7 or tier 8 um, so for the lower tier tanks you could take recon or something to extend your view range uh, the next skill or perk I would recommend is either muffled shot or green thumb so muffled shot is over here, there's green thumb, so that increases your camouflage, your base camo value when you're hiding in bushes or in foliage. And where is it? Where is it? Muffled shot. That will decrease the uh, the effect of losing your camouflage factor when you fire. You'll still lose a lot, but it won't be near as much. So if you're sitting on the edge of the view range of an enemy tank, say the enemy tank's view range is 400 meters, and you're with you're a 390, 380 meters away, and you have muffled shot, he won't, he probably won't see you. Now, I'm not, that's not guaranteed because you don't know what equipment he's got, but it just makes it a little bit easier to be a little bit more stealthy. Um, again, light tanks live and die by their stealth. So, uh, and then the ninth skill I would take if you get that far, which I haven't. Uh, on the RU251 would either be smooth ride if you want to take a more active role and that is a driver uh, skill right here uh, or a gunnery skill designated target and a designated tar target keeps the enemy that you have in your sights uh, spotted for two seconds longer so it's really helpful if you've got a tank destroyer behind you trying to aim out on him or an artillery however this only works if you're aiming at that target so if you move your turret away from that target that you're looking at then designated tar target won't work that's why i've kind of waited until the um the towards the end to get that one however feel free to take it earlier if you uh take a more passive role in your scouting now you'll notice on my a lot of my high tier light tanks my ru251 and my 1390 and the wz132 i don't have a fire extinguisher um Instead, I have, well, I have a reduced speed governor on him, but I have the food consumables. So if you want to do that, you can also take um, firefighting to uh, de enhance his firefighting abilities, which means you won't be on fire as long um, and you won't take near as much burning damage. Or you could take, um, I believe it's preventative maintenance. Uh, there it is. Yes, that will decrease the uh, fire chance. So... On the RU251, the chance of fire is 12%, so with preventative maintenance, that would take it down to 2%, so, which is great because I don't have a fire extinguisher on that. Um, and if you get lit on fire or you take a shot in the rear, you're going to die anyway. Um, so yeah, that is what I do on my light tanks. Again, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned, and I will have the other classes coming up very shortly. Thank you. Thank you for watching Gladys Chest. I've fucked that up at the end, didn't I?